okay i'm back here and let's finish up this modeling so we would for the eyes we would add some spare so i can now use the uv spare this would now work because we need the balls here at this one so okay so i would scale this one and from the side view it should be squeezed like this and also squeeze from the front because the eyes shape is a bit like this here okay if i turn on the wireframe also the turn wireframe can be turned from here and Okay, now we need some adjustment because the eyeball is not getting aligned with this one. So we need some manual work here. So for that, what I would do is that I would select these two. And let's push this inside or I can do the same thing with the um, grab brush. Let's make this outside and this one inside. Okay, so I will try that as much as I can align this one. Okay, and then I have to mirror this one to here. I can now actually extrude this one inside and have this thing, but also let me just turn off the subdivision and try to first fix this thing seems better now but as you can see there is a problem here so we have to turn off this thing slash to the to just solo this thing and now for the corners i would select all the corners and then i would add the mean crease and turn on this again so it have some sharpness still Okay, the sharpness I think seems fine here, but not here. So I would um, select it and remove it from here and here. It only need to be here. Also, maybe the vertex need this thing. And let's remove it from the edge a bit. Oh, it's yeah, the sharp is looking fine. Okay, so I think overall the eyes need to be a bit big. So what I would do is I would select this and plus and I deselect it. Okay, and now let's scale this one and let's scale the eyeball also. something like this
Okay, seems fine. Now I think it's time for the materials and a quick render. So for that, what I would do is simply come up here and let's quickly add a few materials. So we will go for really basic materials. First, I would need a yellow color. And let's see in the material view, it's looking like this, which is fine. For the eyes, we need a white color with the lowest reflection. So it's the eyes should be reflective like this and add one more material for the eyes inner eyes so it might have some this kind of color Okay, let's now select these and okay, I would need some more loops here. So I would double G to just slide this one and add one here. And now I would select these and add this material. Now select the middle one, add another material and this time we would go for a black one. And again, let's add remove the roughness so it looks this thing <coughs> okay now we would need an orange color for the lips and this thing so i would select this color select these two and also the frontal select the orange Okay, for the eye, I would still like to have to bring it up here. And I can also scale this thing if I want. And also this thing. So I have full control on this one. Okay, here I would like to have a, another mesh this could be a spare like this and i would rotate this 90 degree and let's scale this one and from the side view i would try to have it here and we would add a white color to this one so this will be the reflection on the eyes something like this would be fine okay that's for a basic thing and now let's try to add some lighting so we would add a plane and let's extrude this one up scale this one with x and select this one and control b to just bevel and increase the segments by scrolling the mouse and right click shade smooth now we would add a camera quick so a camera go to the front view control alt and numpad zero to snap the camera to to the front and then i would move the camera near to my model So 
something like this. Okay, if I see through render view, it will looking like this. But first thing we need to change it to the cycle and make this one to the GPO. And then what I have to do is to add some colors to the floor. So first I would add colors till here control plus let me see through cameras so I can make a good contrast so till this one I would add a bluish color it would be somehow like this and control I and then plus again we would this time have a green color something like this okay for the camera I would add a depth of field and the object would be the center one and let's quickly see the result so if I make it down it make it all blur so I have to do it in the middle somewhere and I can actually bring this back and let's select the camera again okay now we need some better lighting to actually see what's going on so I would first make it a bit more darker so there is space for adding lights so I would add an area light coming up here this will be our fill light Okay, let's make the background full dark and let's add here till 50 scale this one okay for the character I would also like to have a bit angle like this like the feet should be in front but let's move this a bit here and now let's duplicate this light and rotate it here so it will be a bit too high so we would make this one to about 30 okay now from the top view I would duplicate this one and alt R to reset that and now control T shift T and let's snap my light to here and let's make it 50 and add a color that we like so I would add a blue color okay so I changed the camera to the Uh, orthographic and then we can actually play with this thing more okay now last thing I would do is I would one add one more light 
and this time I would add this one for the background to light up my background. Okay and come up here and let's change this one to the high contrast. And there we have. Hope you learned a lot from this short character video and hope it was helpful for you. So thank you so much for watching and tell me in comments that what you want next to be model and see you in that. For now, bye.